What is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to part two of the DIY wind turbine. So basically I'm gonna be working on the uh, tail right now and here's what I got. So I got this rod right here and I'm just gonna cut it to about two feet. I got it marked already. And I'm gonna cut another part. Whoops. Anyways, and then I'm gonna cut, cut out this for the uh, tail the wind catcher tail and yeah let's see where that takes me well guys I actually just uh, skipped a few steps for you um, and I already have the thing hanging up so I'm gonna show you that so there it is hanging up and it uh, falls the wind pretty well it's not windy right now yeah the, the neighbors burning so. there it goes a little bit So one thing that I'm really happy about is how well the, uh, the the tail follows the wind. I don't know why, but I'm just surprised at it. That the caster wheel bearing and the tail, and everything just works great. I'm I'm really happy with it. That being said, it also takes a lot for the uh, the uh, the actual turbine to start spinning because there's a lot of friction in the the big old motor that I have on there. Yeah, it just takes a little while to get spinning, but once it does, it uh, it produces a lot of electricity. And what we're actually planning on doing is, I don't know if you can see, there's actually right there, that's another windmill. That's uh, that's actually uh, store-bought off the internet. But anyways, it doesn't work too well, so mine's a little bit better. And what my dad's gonna try to do is we're gonna put a, a post up like right there hopefully it goes higher than that thing and um, yeah put put the windmill on top of that and hopefully run the uh, electrical down to inside the house and although the the actual turbine itself is done there's still a lot to uh, there's still a lot to do like we need a battery bank we need there's there's like this I don't know what it's called, but it's it makes it so that the battery doesn't actually run the motor, but the electricity still gets to the batteries. Um, there's got to be a voltage dump. There's there's a couple other things we still need to buy, but um, I don't really want to do that. So I've done what I want to do, and that was basically just build that so far. It's a cute little gust. Well, 
think that's all I'm gonna get out of her today. We topped out about like three and a half volts. Yeah, today is like on the windy scale around here, um, probably, probably two out of 10 right now. So yeah, we had it going, we had it going uh, just before I filmed around uh, 13 volts or so, 14 volts. And that's still, it's a mild, really mild day, uh, so. All right, and here it is, back down from the, uh, the pole there. Here's how I did the back. Th these were from the caster wheels, if you remember. They're the forks from the caster wheels, and I just welded them on the back of these poles. That go all the way under there. And I just welded them in, inside of there. And then what I did was I literally just bent them with my hand, I cramped them, and then I welded it really quickly so that it would bend like that. Drill the hole through there and put that part on and it works wonderfully. Here's down there. I just re-greased the bearings. They work perfectly. Everything works great. I'm so surprised. Just need uh, more wind. I was also experimenting on a some sort of cover to put this on so it's out of the elements and I'm just gonna like, cut a pipe in half and just slide it over but I think I need a longer pipe I mean something like that will work just one final look at it And by the way, the blades are 28 inches. Well, guys, I think that is it for um, this mini project. Ah, ha, yeah. It's definitely not done. I really want to do like a update video once we got everything hooked up and, and set up. But um, for now, I think I'm done. It's too expensive to uh, do everything else right now for me. So yeah, I'll um, once we get it up and going. I'll, I'll definitely flip on the camera and show you guys, but until then, I'll see you next time. I got another project coming up right now, and uh, yeah, stay tuned.